Did I scare you? No? Alright, that, that's <laughs> Anyways, we're talking about Rec Room news today, and I have quite a bit because I haven't made a video like this in a little while. Today is Friday, so usually weeklies come out, and um, th there's no, th there's no weekly. It's okay though, we have Winter Wonderland, I've already checked there, nothing changed, but we did get a new Rec Center shop, let's go! Got some items here as you guys can see, and it's really just items and stuff like that. We had also received a new Rec Room Plus item, which was this Jumbotron Maker Pen skin as well. If you don't have Rec Room Plus, you did not get these items for free. Now, inside of the Rec Center, there's this new Run the Block, like, decals now. If you guys don't know, Run the Block is a new Rec Room original that just came out. I have a video about it, and I have all the soundtracks on my actual channel and stuff like that. This feature creator just changed. There was a new one that you guys can see it in my short, but we have a new featured creator. On the board, we could also receive some new YouTube videos and stuff like that. <sighs> I love you, BVR. We also got in some new featured rooms as well. And as you guys can see, we have some new Instagram posts as well. For your guys' thoughts, be sure to let me know what you, what you guys think. Before we get into this actual shop though, you can get a free item, which is just the Puma Beanie. Assuming that you buy an item between now through the 15th, you'll receive your beanie on the 16th. It's just the regular old Puma Beanie that they sold a few months ago and stuff like that that you can get for free, and you'll be receiving the box on the 16th. That's only if you buy like a Puma item though, so. Yeah. Anyways, when you enter it, this happens. Now this is the Puma shop, as you guys can see. Inside the shop, there's like over 50 Puma items that are new now. And of course, be sure to let me know if you guys even wear the brand Puma in real life. The tokens range from about 800 all the way to about 3,000 or 3,500. That's about the max that I've seen it. And it has like shoes, pants, full body avatar stuff, as you guys can see in crap. It also has backpacks, fanny packs. It also has like shirts, hoodies, regular stuff for bean body too. Track suits, yeah, I was lying. About 4,200 is about the max tokens and stuff like that i was lying bucket hats as well if you guys are interested it's pretty cool and yeah this is a pretty much the entire puma shop be sure to let me know what you guys think and if you guys like puma in real life players are also getting this new login ui as well which is just a simpler login ui as you guys can see it shows your name you can press play and if you press the three dots you can switch the user and etc etc i like it because it's a little bit more simplistic though i do think it's just a little awkward how everything is kind of spaced out if that makes sense continuing onwards we had received an announcement from Rec Room developers as well. It gets a little serious here and it's from Chase A Rec Room developers. He goes on to say, Hey creators, we wanted to take a moment to address some concerns we've seen over the past few days. In August, we introduced the three strike creation policy to target serious violations of our creator code of conduct, including spam publishing or new publishing content. Since then, we've been enforcing this policy to ensure a fair and creative environment for all creators. Recently, we've seen an increase in spam publishing and republishing, and in response, we've taken actions against 74 rooms and permanently banned 11 creators this week. We also found that some creators we previously auctioned under the three strike creation policy used alternative accounts and other methods to avoid detection on their main account. We have escalated their strikes in these cases. We've said before we don't really like banning creators but we do take our rules seriously. We strive to create a space where creators can thrive by being original, creative, and mindful of their rules. The great news is, is that most creators do exactly that. It's truly inspiring to see what creators make using the tools in Rec Room and we are excited to see what you'll create next. And honestly, deserved. Uh, I, I only see W's here. I should have probably also talked about this when we were talking about the login UI and stuff like that, but there's some new UI changes as well. Some players are noticing that their store UI is a little bit different with these new buttons appearing on the left now. We have featured, appearance, inventions, and consumables, and it's basically just new filters for items and stuff like that. People, a lot of people are also getting this new customized tab where it basically just shows you all the items and stuff like that. As you guys can see, I like it because we can see all the items and stuff, but I kind of don't like it because you can't see the names or anything like that or the rarities or anything like that makes it a little weird and kind of reminds me of the old way of how we used to customize back when we used like the dresser and stuff it just kind of gives me similar vibes to that if you know what i'm talking about and apparently if you didn't buy the item you can actually see the token price which is cool i guess it was also announced that we got a new ama as well about six days ago mama monkey a rec room staff member had come out to say rec room ama number 35 hey everyone it's time for another ama and you already know what to do you can ask any question inside the reddit thread vote up questions you want to see answered and there are no topics that are off but please keep it constructive polite and civil remember that this is the rec room subreddit so we should mainly be talking about rec room 
We'll have a video out for this soon, I'll be taking questions until Tuesday night, and then we'll be working on the answers and getting them recorded. That's about it, what would you like to hear about? Let them know. As you guys can see, you guys can go into the comments, see what are most likely going to be the answered questions and stuff like that, or add on if you guys really want to, but I think it's too late for, be for them to be taking questions and stuff already. So yeah, but it's here, and um, if you guys want to check it out, it's in the link in the description. There's also this new like emoji update as well, if you guys don't remember, Rekrum has this new thing with the reactions and emotes now, where you can like display a little emoji on the top of your character and stuff. Well, the icon changed, and the UI for it had also changed as well, which is pretty weird. There's also rooms that have this new tag on them now as well, if you guys are interested. Obviously, I just think it's to highlight new rooms and stuff. That's that's pretty much it. And Sawhorse had randomly updated this shirt to actually glow as well, which brings me into my next topic, UGC. So inside the watch store, you guys can see the winter style that we got in for Winter Wonderland and the new Puma collab. But if you guys keep going, you'll see Run the Block and stuff. We have some discounted offers if you guys are interested in stuff like that. I should have talked about this during the weekly, but I didn't. But we have these new Jimmy Fallon's holiday seasoning sweaters. And it's just sweaters that are Jimmy Fallon themed. I don't know if this is a collab or anything like that, but it's just, it's so random and out of nowhere. So that exists inside Rec Room now, and we have some new featured creations. Now, we had left off with the pink maid dress and stuff like that, but you can find this kitty cat, you can find these new penguin backpacks, these loose fit jeans, a black open jacket, these question marks, exclamation point, and angry mark little emoticons. We have the MF Doom mask, we got big eyes, we have new TV head colors, we have Slat's hoodie, Slat got a hoodie. Slat also has a traffic cone, a tracksuit top pink, and this graffiti spray can backpack from Sawhorse. They added it for Run the Block and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, there's also this weird bug that would happen with full body avatars that would make your character appear naked. If you had a full body costume and you hid the bottoms and shoes on the full body avatar costume, this would happen. As you guys can see, this, this brother's naked. Yeah. This happens pretty often, to be honest. There's like weird bugs that'll happen in Rec Room sometimes that like gets rid of the clothes on your character and little slivers of times like these. What do you guys think? It's pretty dumb. Um, I don't know if it's patched. It's probably patched. Also, if you guys don't remember the Rec Roomies Awards and stuff like that, that little bucket trophy that I had gotten for best Rec Tuber. They finally fixed that trophy to its proper model now, and um, I couldn't really notice too much of a change, but yeah, it, that happened. All right, now I feel like I don't even need to explain this part of my video because you already know what's about to happen. But in case you don't know what's about to happen, I have channel memberships on this channel. That's like a Patreon. They give me money every month and I give them perks like being shouted out in videos and sneak peeks to videos and stuff like that. Starting for as low as $5, you could appear on this list inside all of my videos. And of course, these people include, we got Nat the Pup, Kitty Kea, Ken VR, Dude, Greengrass VR, Iron Guy, Zenny, Fire God 82, Baguette, Default, Kobe Fan 76, Daytrix, Nolan, The Dragon Boy, Gasly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Chase Don Lee, BBB Bernie, Al, Raphael, Cloud Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. Thank you for your constant support on the channel. Some of you guys have been supporting for almost years at this point. And of course, people, let's get back to the news. Oh, wait, also a good time to mention, today's video is sponsored. That's right, today's video is sponsored by GameSir. Now, GameSir is just this controller company that makes controllers for gaming and stuff like that. They have a wide list of controllers to choose from, and most notably, they had decided to give me one as well. I received the G7 HE Xbox Wired controller, and it can come in two colors, black or white. Now, this controller is designed for Xbox, but it can also be used for, like, PC games and etc, etc. It's an enhanced wired controller for Xbox that has universal compatibility to Xbox Series XS, Xbox One XS, Windows 10 through 11, and even Steam. Now this ain't no standard Xbox controller, no no no. It has a wide range of features. For the sticks, it can go up to 5 million cycles, and it's anti-drift, meaning that you won't get stick drift with this controller and stuff. It also has Hall Effect analog triggers with accuracy up to 0.1 millimeters. They have a hair trigger mode for FPS games, and they also have an analog trigger mode for racing games as well. There's also realistic and immersive rumble motors that are not only inside the actual handles of the controller, but it's also on the actual triggers as well. They have a magnetic swappable faceplate so you guys can swap and design that actual controller however you like it via just the faceplate, and they have an advanced feature like micro switch face buttons, anti-friction rings, rubber coated texture grips, and a 3.5mm headphone jack, with its own little like mic button too which you can press to mute yourself and stuff. It's also fully software customizable, meaning that you can actually change its keybinds and stuff like that, it's going to cost you about $50 USD. 
I know that's kind of a lot of money, but of course, if you guys are a serious gamer like that, check it out at least. I've used it for a little while. I, I don't have an Xbox or anything like that, so I didn't use it for Xbox or nothing like that, but I did use it for PC and stuff, and it works like a charm. It really is just like a normal Xbox controller, to be honest with you, but there were a few cool features about it. It has buttons on the back of the actual controller where the handles are, meaning that you have extra buttons to use whenever you need to. So you can change your keybinds to match those buttons on the back to whatever you really wanted to. There's also just more buttons on the controller itself compared to a normal Xbox controller. And I mean, hey, it worked. It was smooth. It worked nice with my PC game that I was playing. I was playing Cold of the Lamb. It was fire. And I mean, it's just, it's just a controller. What else can you really say about it? Also, I unboxed it and everything like that. And they also gave me like this Game Pass code too. I mean, whoever wants this, you can have it. I don't have an Xbox, so I don't need Game Pass at all. Anyways, thank you GameSir for the collaboration. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for the controller as well. It honestly is a really good quality controller. 50 bucks, I don't have to pay for. And of course, people, I will have the link inside the description below. And of course, the moment you've all been waiting for, a new Rec Room update. The Rec Room patch, the last of the year edition, they had a TLDR, and of course, it says that some avatar body types, bug fixes, and a small movement update, plus toes. They ended up going back on toes and stuff like that. I don't think toes are actually inside the game yet, but they added B so now you can ping locations and communicate even quicker. Winter Wonderland is here and you can celebrate the holiday season with us in Winter Wonderland and this is their last update of the year. Thank you for being part of their community and this has been an amazing year and it's all because of you. Happy holidays and we'll be right back here with updates in a few weeks. For avatars, improvements to existing culling groups and new avatar body models, future proofing for new culling groups, improved hand deformation for bean avatars and even toes for full body avatars. Bean avatars can now try on pants and shoes in the watch store. Your new bean avatar found its balance and now stands upright. The new bean also got some small updates to animations while moving around, and you'll now slide in the direction you're moving instead of being based on your input. Lastly, they fixed a bug where the bottom half of the specific eye type would begin clipping through part of your mouth. For rooms too, they fixed an issue where frozen props inside a container will prevent you from using move, rotate, scale, and manipulate or delete tools on it. And lastly, you can now delete frozen objects using the advanced creation mode hierarchy. For general improvements and bug fixes, which is kind of thick, they said VR player's beacon game is on point. No, literally, next time you're in a party or in a team in a Rec'em original, point and press your controller's main trigger. You'll drop a beacon at the location the laser beam touches. They added quick chat for everyone, they changed the mobile app icon to something a little bit more chill, added a new volume slider to the audio settings page that controls the volume of party voice calls separately from other Rec'em voices. You will now open straight to party chat if you open chat and are in a party. Makes sense, right? They added better visibility for rooms that require a version update. The reaction wheel is now even snappier. They fixed a bug where the join room button could be disabled if you cancel it inviting friends to join a room with you. They fixed a bug which prevented players from talking in party voice call during loading screens. They also fixed a bug where unowed items are unlocked when entering the portfolio of another player who wears those items. They fixed another bug where players with a large number of avatar owned items could not access said owned items. They also fixed not a no rooms found overlapping room search results with browsing by category. Fixed a bug that was causing the title screen to skip over the new account page. Updated UI elements in the influencer support code flow. They also fixed a typo. They fixed an issue where players would crash when browsing carousels in the store, updated meetup code UI, now players with all rooms now have access to view the permissions tab in room settings, and lastly, they removed the cause of stack overflow when multi-selecting with if they drop down in Rec Room Studio. For Rec Room Studio, they just configured mood chips. And for experiments, which is the last bit of this update, they say on screens, we released an experiment which prove, improves the place feature in several ways. The object will now be maintained on the player Y axis when moved up and down. There's not a yellow outline indicating if the object is overlapping with other collisions in the world while being placed. Updates to the visual appearance of room cards across the pages of the watch now show a new tag for rooms first published in the last month. They're also starting an experiment that adds best popular match card to room search page to allow players to go to a room related to their search that is most likely to have other players to play with. Some players will now be able to find events inside the play menu, the experiment to add a new feedback survey at the end of party voice calls, and lastly, adding a banner to shoes slash bottom tabs for experiment and design feedback. And that was Rec Room's update. Of course, what do you guys think? Anything new that seems interesting? Anything new that kind of entices you? Be sure to let me know. Honestly, there wasn't too much for me, but I did know that there was a lot of changes that had happened with this new update. One of the more notable ones 
options are the outfit page change. Now, in case you guys aren't aware, if you go to your outfits, you can now only load the outfit only, which will basically save your body type. So if you're a full body avatar and want to load into an outfit that a bean avatar might have, if you select the load outfit only button, you'll basically just put on all the items as a full body avatar. So I'm a full body avatar right now, and if I wanted to switch into like my little like main outfit and I decide to do that, it'll give me all like the clothes that I normally have and stuff. Honestly, one of my favorite features to come with this newest update, and be sure to let me know what you guys think. It was also noted that after this update, people are receiving their 18 through 24 months of being inside research lab boxes. Insane. Two whole years of giving feedback. And that's pretty much all the record news that I have for today. Of course, people, stay tuned for the next video and stuff like that. I'm thinking about uploading every, like, two days and stuff like that, just for continuity's sake and hoping my videos get better. Uploading daily kind of hurts my videos and stuff like that, so I'm gonna try and upload maybe every two days and stuff. So, of course, stay tuned for the next video. I have plenty of more news to talk about. I'm not even scratching the surface, and I will catch you guys inside the next one. If you guys are interested, feel free to like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff, even use my code in-game. It supports me massively. I should tell you guys to use my code at the start of the video, but but I don't because I forget. I'm dumb. Just, just use my code, all right? I'm just, I'm just gonna assume you use it, all right? Anyways, if I catch you in-game using my code, I'll gift you something nice. And, of course, people, that was pretty much it with today's video. If you guys want to see more Rec Room News videos, or my Run the Block video, probably, or the soundtrack videos, you can probably see either one of those on that side of the screen and stuff. Feel free to click. I know you want to click it. I know. You've, reached, you've already watched the end. You must love me or something. And anyways, yeah, I know your home address.